When compiling an application in the .NET framework, the source code we have written, usually in C Sharp or VB.NET, is compiled into the Common Intermediate Language, or CIL. At runtime, the CIL code is passed through the Just-in-Time compiler, generating code which can be executed by the machine's CPU. The problem is that CIL code is very easily decompiled back into the original high-level language it was written in, exposing the entire source code of an application to anybody who wishes to see it. Here we have a simple executable file called Mandelbrot, which generates an image of the Mandelbrot set. Using a tool like .NET Reflector, we can open the application and easily browse through the application's inner workings, generating code virtually identical to the original source code. This means that once an application is released, the entire source code is essentially exposed, so any intellectual property or sensitive information it contains is quickly compromised. For many applications, this is not acceptable. For instance, it would mean that the software's licensing mechanism could quickly be removed, and any aspect of the software modified to act in ways you don't want to be possible. So how do we stop people taking distributed assemblies and extracting the source code? The answer is to use an obfuscator tool like SmartAssembly. SmartAssembly takes any .NET assembly and generates a new protected assembly, which defeats tools like .NET Reflector. We create a new project by selecting our Mandelbrot application, which we want to protect, and choose a name for the generated file. We then scroll down the list to choose the enhancements we want SmartAssembly to add to our application. There are a whole range of enhancements, like automated error reporting and feature usage reporting, which can be added at the click of a mouse. But for now, let's just see what happens if we turn on obfuscation, leaving all other enhancements switched off. We build the application, and then open the newly created assembly in .NET Reflector. When we browse the assembly, we can see that the names of all classes and methods have been changed to random characters, making it a lot harder for an attacker to understand. On its own, this is worth doing, but most of the structure of the code is still fairly easy to deduce. If we go back into SmartAssembly and switch on control flow obfuscation, this gets a lot more difficult. This rearranges the structure of code inside methods, converting it into spaghetti code, which decompilers are unable to interpret. So now, if we browse down to a method and try to decompile it, all we get is this error message. One other protection worth taking a quick look at is string encoding. Often it's necessary for an application to store sensitive strings which they need in order to run, but which we don't want end users to have access to. String encoding encrypts and compresses strings, making them unreadable. Let's activate this feature in SmartAssembly, and then rebuild our application. When we open it again in .NET Reflector, we can see that instead of being easily able to read the strings, we now just see nonsense characters. And just as a final check, let's run the application. Yep, it still works exactly as it should. To see the effect SmartAssembly could have on your own application, download your free 14-day trial.